I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 251. Today we're going to be stitching using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching. I'll begin stitching in the lower left corner. I'm going to hold my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler so that the one inch marked increment intersects the lower right corner. From there, I'll stitch an angular line to, from the left side over to the right. From the right side, I'll adjust my ruler on the left side so that the one inch marking now intersects the bottom left corner. There, I'll stitch another line across the block. I'm going to repeat this process, working my way all the way up to the top of the block, moving my ruler back and forth, one inch at a time, stitching those angular lines all the way up to the top of the block. Once I get all the way to the top of the block, I'm going to stitch in the ditch down to that bottom right corner. From the bottom right corner, I'll adjust my ruler, stitch an angular line from the bottom right up to that left first marked line. From there, I'm going to again adjust my ruler and actually stitch a straight line right on top of my previous stitch line over to the right side of the block. From that point, I'll again adjust my ruler and stitch an angular line up to the marked point or the previous stitch line right above that. From there, I'll stitch in the ditch up the left side and now stitch an angular line down to the right. I'll repeat that process, stitching those angular lines. You did notice at the bottom how I stitched along my stitch line. You could do that as a way to travel back and forth, but as I quickly realized as I was stitching out this design, that's not the easiest way. So I'll complete this design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.